should I be putting my art out there? I'm not sure if I want to. I don't want to draw any attention towards this. Like, this isn't going to go anywhere. Like, I... Can I cuss? Yeah. I, like, dead-ass thought, like, no one is ever going to want, like, anything that I make because it's just, like, this silly thing that I do. My name is Asel Tai. I am from Burbank, California. I'm 24 years old. I am a first generation Filipino American. My dad is, I like to say he's a drug dealer because he's a pharmaceutical rep, and my mom is an accountant for lawyers. My mom got knocked up and they're like, we should get married, but before we get married, we should probably end up moving to the United States to give our children um, a better opportunity. Another drunken thought. Why are, can't you open this? I don't know why I can't open it. It's hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a stereotype when you're the youngest kid of the family that you're spoiled and your parents are very, very lenient on you. But I feel like adding on to the fact that I am the first generation also had the expectation to follow in my sister's footsteps. My eldest sister is really good at math. She got good grades. And then the middle child, she was like the perfect child. She was well-rounded. She's really smart. And then me, just being the youngest child, I had to live up to my sisters and like their shadows. I don't know any drunken thoughts right now, but you know, I'm ready. Fun thoughts, fun thoughts. <laughs> I want to move as far away as possible because I felt like the world wasn't big enough and I was just sick and tired of being stuck in a small community where you would walk outside of the door and you would see someone that you knew. I was just really tired of having a reputation that I really didn't feel like I cultivated on my own. Sunny day sweeping the clouds away Fast forward, I got to San Francisco and two weeks after the first day of school, I really fucking hated business school. I have no creative classes, like what the fuck is going on, you know? I like walk to the cafeteria and then I see like this really nice poster and it says hiring, graphic center. My friend was like, you should do this. You seem like you could be kind of an artsy girl. I had no idea what design was at 18 years old. Yeah, I might seem like really desperate, like I have no, no experience in design. I didn't know what Illustrator was, I didn't know what Photoshop was. Essentially made my entire portfolio based off of phone apps and I just had no idea. And then I get a phone call and they're like, you're hired. You really feel like you have a lot of heart. And then ever since getting hired there, everything just like fell in place. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first year when I switched into being a design major from being a business major. That switch definitely took a big toll between me and my family because they were kind of like, what are you doing? You cannot make any profit and you cannot be successful off of being a designer. And I was working. 60 hours a week when I was working at the student run design for an office until like 3 in the morning I've like cut myself with an exacto blade so many times because I was just cutting paper and tiling posters Design Made me very extreme and it made me very very Neurotic and made me very passionate and very obsessive the first bird drawing was drawn on a notebook, and this was actually after I went to the Philippines for the first time. I bought a notebook for like, I think like 200 pesos. It was craft paper, and I drew a bird bending over, holding a beer in one hand, and holding a surrender flag in the other, and then along the spine, it just said the word fuck. People laugh at my art because it's very dark humor through a character that is not really intimidating and it's not really biased and it's not really directly like pointed to anyone. There's something comforting about addressing misery in a humorous way because it makes you realize like what we're going through is going to pass. I started redrawing the Yeti recently like it was just like a simple Instagram post. It was just a really funny happening of events. It was around the time when my house caught on fire. I was having trouble with 
my aunt dying, I was in a relationship, and then I broke up. And I was just alone. Um. So hypothetically speaking, hear me out. If I made vinyl stickers, that guy, minus the body, like that. And that guy, can you still? Guys, can we just talk about Hi. how this is so dope? Hey. Hi. Obviously, she knows I'm a dancer. Okay. <laughs> He's twerking and snapping like G snaps. I enjoy this. Y'all, you all gotta check out her art. This all started off with like just a couple of people like trickling in. I'm really low-key getting really overwhelmed because I feel like I'm more and more not putting as much heart into it because I'm getting anxious by the fact that like oh yo you have like 20 unread messages the reason why I got a forte symbol was because forte musically forte means to be loud to play something forte or like fortissimo means play loudly and I kind of took that as a mantra. I don't want to go on in this world quietly. Like, I want to be loud and I want to be heard. And if I die, fuck damn right. Like, I'm not going to be forgotten anytime soon. Okay.